How's it going guys, Mr. Boss for the win here, and in this video I'm going to be telling you guys how you can earn some pretty quick and pretty fast cash in Grand Theft Auto 5. Now I know in the beginning of the game before you get into the heist missions and the jewelry store robberies etc, cash can be a little hard to come by. Now we're going to be diving into some criminal routes here by robbing some grocery stores, some convenience stores, and some gas stations as well. Now there are a few located around the map, you can mark them etc, I'm going to be showing you a few of them right here. But what you want to look for is stores that have more of a well-lit front and obviously doors that you can walk into. Now, when you enter this building, you want to come in with a weapon of your choice. And obviously what you're going to do is just point it at the cashier. And uh, if you wait a few minutes, he'll take the money out of the register. And, uh, you know, he'll just, it, it can range anywhere from like $300 to $700. Now, that might not seem like a whole lot for those of you who have beat the game. And I know some of you guys might have already known this by now. But for those of you who may be getting the game a little later on in the year, or have just gotten it, or maybe just didn't know about this at all, this is a really cool way to get anywhere from $300 to $700. Now, the cops will be called. It is your choice if you want to kill the clerk or not. Um, I've done it both ways, and you still get stars. So you do want to have a getaway vehicle present, and you definitely want to have a way to avoid the cops because you are going to get an automatic two stars which isn't that hard to avoid but it sometimes can be a pain when the cops are ever chasing after you so like i said this can be done with grocery or excuse me convenience stores uh, one is located right here. It's at the very top of downtown Los Santos, right here on this mini map. Uh, this can be done with convenience stores, uh, like the one I'm walking into right now. Most gas stations will have these 24/7 supermarkets available, and uh, yeah, it's really easy. Like I believe in this one, uh, I was able to get like $300. And uh, right now, as far as I am in the game, it seems a little redundant to go ahead and do this, just because I have like over a million dollars or some money saved in the bank. So robbing things and robbing stores uh, isn't, you know efficient but it is pretty quick and uh, if you are like I said strapped for cash this can be really helpful because I got $320 right there which is actually on the lower end I, I was typically getting anywhere from 500 to 700 and look at this karma right here I run to the middle of the road and I'm run over by a vehicle after I rob a grocery store so I figured that was the perfect case of karma right there. I'm surprised another vehicle didn't run over me. How fitting would that have been if another vehicle happened to run over me uh, after I robbed a, you know, a convenience store? Now, here's another location. It's kind of located typically in the same area, and this one is a gas station right here. Now, not all clerks will act the same. In fact, some of the clerks will actually retaliate and possibly pull out weapons, as you'll see in a little bit. I go in with a modded shotgun right here. And uh, as soon as I point it at the clerk, I'm like, all right, give me the money. And then, whoa, all of a sudden, he pulls out his shotgun. I'm like, whoa, hey, now, now uh, I shot him. And what you can do is you can go around and take the money out for yourself. It will be significantly less, so it's kind of a pain in the ass when this happens. But uh, it's not that big of a deal. So you'll earn about maybe like $200 to $300 less. And the cops will definitely be called after the gunshots of a dead clerk. So anyways, if this video did help you guys in any way whatsoever, I would definitely encourage you guys to leave a like down below. Like I said, this is a pretty quick way to earn about a thousand dollars two thousand dollars in about 10 minutes so if you're looking to get that last car improvement or you want to buy another haircut this is definitely one of the ways to do it so anyways guys if this video did help you out in any way i would encourage you guys to definitely leave a like favorite and most importantly subscribe above or below this video by clicking one of the buttons so anyways take care thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video